Good evening everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you once again for watching it. Um, today's video is a short video wherein I will be showing how to export log analytics data into storage account via Event Hub. I have already posted a few videos in the past with different other methods, for example methods to export log analytics workspace into storage account via logic app there are always a few limitations with logic apps um, which is why they recommend logic apps generally is for uh, small deployments where you've got small data that you want to export or if you want to have test or dev environments for larger environments and production environment they would recommend you doing it via an event hub so i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to do that now in this method is a bit different because i'm doing it via event hub and i'm using the capture method to store it to uh, um, sorry to move it to the storage account the reason why i'm using event hub and using the capture method is because event hub ideally can also be used to export data to various other entities you've got uh, such as your azure data explorer data lakes and things like that so if you only want one data export or you want to use only one you want to use only one log analytics data export move it to event hub and then use event hub to export to different locations in that way saving the cost for the log and text data export which can be a bit costly this is the way to do okay so just to confirm i have got one um, log analytics workspace here i'm going into my storage account now and i'm going to go and create a test storage account that's my first step so click on create and it's going to ask me where do you want it I'm just going to go into my storage account just give it a name I'm just going to say demo storage transfer uh, East US it's cheaper there I'm just going to go and just go a locally redundant storage next advanced yep I'm happy with that next we're networking yep that's okay for now with public access data production soft is okay encryption Microsoft manage keys is fine tags always I recommend using tags because for even for costing and searching things it's always good to have tags because you can then use the filter option to filter for tags to find the relevant data so sentinel yes review and create and then create so while that is happening I'm going into my log analytics workspace and if you can see here currently I'm going into my data export as you can see my data export is empty I have mentioned I'm going to be using the data export to export it to my event hub I already have a video on how I have done event hubs in the past I will attach that link before I have explained why I've used the particular event hub namespace type that I've used now and also the comparisons between standard premium I've, I will put that uh, document or sorry put that video uh, attach that video along with this link here as well so um, so this is my event hub here in my event hub or event hub namespace sorry I have automatically created event hubs um, so I'll come to this in a second so my f so uh, as I've mentioned here, log analytics workspace goes into Event Hub. So I create that export rule. I'm just going to say export Event Hub. Click on Next. It's going to ask me what do you want to do. I'm going to select all of them. Click on Next, and it's going to say where is the Event Hub? The Event Hub that I've already created in my previous video, which I'll attach now, is all in one Sentinel. I'm going to say create in uh, selected namespace because it will automatically create the event hubs rather than me selecting or creating a separate location and exporting everything into that particular location. So click on next and just say create. So basically I've set up the export going into that event hub. In my previous video, I've already created that. So this is the event hub here. The As I mentioned, it says create automatically in the namespace. So the tables that I have exported here the moment you get data into it 
it will automatically start populating with an AM prefix. So let's take, for example, I've got AM hyphen heartbeat. It is based on data that's come into this particular table that's called the heartbeat. Okay, so I've got my heartbeat here. So I just click on, okay, let's take an example, uh, Sentinel security alert. I click on this capture option here. I and this is where you actually tell okay it's coming into my uh, event hub and from event hub it needs to be exported into uh, a storage account so yes I'm happy with a 15 minute every 15 minutes allowing 500 MB worth of data my storage container is this container that we have just selected now which is demo storage transfer and uh, yep domain domain uh, transfer and I'm just going to say Okay, so I'm just going to create. So now I'm just trying to use a heart, heartbeat. I'm, let's take an example. I'm going to use heartbeat. I'm just going to go and just type in heartbeat here. Okay, that's because it can only take small letters. That's fine. I'm going into heartbeat here and click on create. And I'm going to select that particular container. Okay, it's going to be in this particular format here. I'm going to save changes. So to confirm, I have created log analytics workspace. Sorry, I've already had log analytics workspace. I just created a data export to export into a particular namespace, which is this particular namespace here. Within that namespace, I have selected um, AM security alert. And within security alert, I've clicked on capture. And I have enabled uh, container I've enabled a link to a container that we have just created called heartbeat um, okay right so now next thing is you won't have any data here unless I trigger one so let us do that I'm going to create a test certain test alerts to do that what I do normally is go into Defender for Cloud. My Defender for Cloud is integrated with Log Analytics Workspace using an analytic rule. I've already got a video for that on how to do the integration, which I will post in this uh, channel as well. So if you click on Security Alerts here, click on Sample Alerts and just, just select a few. Create Sample Alerts. I'm just going to wait for that to populate. So basically all what I'm trying to do is I need to go to this, this storage account with this particular container uh, called Heartbeat, which is here I'm waiting for, um, I'm just going to be waiting for, so it's under demo transfer, containers, and I'm just going to wait for data to be populated here. Currently, as you can see, it says, yep, samples created. It should slowly start populating. And we are then going to search contents of this in Log Analytics Workspace. I'll wait for five minutes and get back. Okay, so um, as you can see here now, you have data slowly coming. All I'm just refreshing this again. This is in the store, um, in the container, in the demo transfer storage account that we just created. Um, so this all-in-one Sentinel Premium is saying that it's coming from this particular event hub namespace which we can see it's here um, and this is where the data is S perfect okay so um, now next step is we have to always make sure we give the right access so you need to be giving them the storage blob data reader role for the user to be able to query this storage account in the log analytics workspace to do that you go into the storage account here go into role here click on uh, click on add add role assignment and the one that you need to give them is the storage blob reader data reader role this one here i've already given uh, i've already given that access to the account that i have now so i don't need it but that's the role you need to give Okay, so now we go into uh, the story log analytics workspace itself and in the log analytics workspace we open that up and logs. Okay, so now the query to do that 
is is the following I will uh, I will paste this in the uh, comment section for you to watch it's this is the query uh, this query as you can see this it basically says your activity logs or um, external data basically it's saying you're going and searching in external data these are the strings that you need all what you need to do is only put your SAS token here I will show you how to do that in a second and this is dot heartbeat is the container that I'm searching so your SAS token how do I find that if I go now to my storage account go into my containers and here I've got heartbeat here if I go into shared access tokens here I'm going to give it add create write delete list row and I'm going to give it an expiry time of uh, 20 2029 so that's uh, to about six years so I'm just going to generate the token and that's your SAS token here click on click on that go into the particular log analytics workspace which is here right click paste allow okay perfect and all what you need to do is go and all what you notice if you see here I've done that along with what is the what is the contain that's the heartbeat container go and just click on run bang this is this is what that has been imported if you also had for example security alerts or things like that's going into that container if you search for security alerts I believe I should be able to see that security alert there you go so uh, just just for clarity this security alert and that heartbeat um, is basically um, going is, is, is not this container itself but contents within the tables that was exported from log analytics workspace into uh, the storage account so just to confirm where do I get those tables from the tables I get it from here so I went into data export if I open that up there are a few tables here these tables as you know came into uh, the event hub and in this event hub I have clicked on a few of them so if I go into my event hub here there's quite a few some of them I've selected for example security alert that was automatically created I have created the capture data to go directly to that heartbeat account so the ones that I have so I've, I've created similarly I've attached security event security incident heartbeat all to go into that particular storage account and the, using that SAS URL that we just saw um, and if using the SAS URL that we just saw along with um, that particular name that that particular table that is imported that's what you can see as the uh, account um, okay so just to recap what we have done we basically created a storage account um, we basically created a storage account which is demo transfer we created a container within that call heartbeat we then went into log analytics workspace and created a data export and exported all those tables the tables that had data coming into it automatically gets created into the event hub namespace the video on how to create event hub namespaces I will attach in this link so you can get a whole picture once it's come here you then click on any one of them go into capture and you just point to the storage account that you have created so in our case here if we go into heartbeat go into security alert we just created that S yep similar to here once you, once you have done that you then will have to run a query uh, which again I will put into this link in that query all what you need to modify is the SAS URL 
to get that you go into that particular storage account go and select go into shared access token select all the permissions and click on generate based on the time you want and then copy that SAS URL you then uh, put replace that uh, that your SAS token with the URL that you have just copied and when you run it there you go you will get all the data um, thank you very much hope this helps and uh, please let me know if you have got any more queries thank you very much